Right, so um, what I want to do next for this revision lecture material is to go through the solutions to um, the relativity problem on tutorial sheet 10. Um, you've all been handed this tutorial sheet. I am not counting on the fact that you all still got it, so I'll email it out to the entire class. So check your university email and you can get a copy of this thing. The only question on relativity is question 3, and the first part of it goes like this. So you've got a particle called a pi mass on whose rest mass is 131 MeV over C squared. So that means M0, which is rest mass, is 131 MeV upon C squared. And the first part of the question, and it's total energy, is 1 GeV, the pi meson. Okay. Noticed you can't see all that on the board, it's a bit unfortunate. Um, so let me start, right, that's a bit more legibly. Um, I the board duster as well, I haven't done with that. Here it is. Like I said, I'm not going to do much editing of this because it'll take too much time. So, M0 equals 131 MEV on C squared and E, total energy, equals 1 GeV. And the first question is, what's its momentum? And express the momentum in MeV over C. So for that we use this formula, the energy momentum mass relation. So if you have a particle with total energy E, the square of that energy is equal to the sum of the squares of its momentum, the magnitude of its momentum times C, all squared, plus m naught C squared, all squared. So you can see we have most of what we need to do this question just in the numbers. You rearrange this formula, you get that the magnitude of the momentum times C, I guess it should be a magnitude here, equals the square root of E squared minus M naught C squared all squared. And then you just substitute in. Um, so the only thing you have to be careful of about, about here is, is the fact that these are units, E is in GeV, and M0 is in MeV over C squared. Um, the over C squared might seem like it would be a problem, but remember you don't actually have to divide by C in, in, in MKS units or in SI units, which is 3 times 10 to the 8 meters a second all squared. Instead, you simply rearrange the expression for M0. So if you take this C squared, C is actually a number and not a unit, put it up with the M0, you get M0 C squared equals 131 MeV, which is equal to 0 0.131 GeV. So M0 C squared now has the same units as, as, e, as, as E. So substitute those directly into the formula, you get P times C equals the square root of 1 squared, and that's in GeV squared, minus 0 0.131 squared, which is also in GeV squared. And so the actual number comes out as 0 0.991 GeV, um, which means that the momentum P, you can still see that, yes you can, equals 991 MeV, upon C, and that's the net unit, that's what I want. Notice again, all I've done here is taken the C, and instead of writing PC equals 991 MeV, I've written P equals 991 MeV over C. This is an acceptable final answer. This is the answer I want. So it's a mistake to try and convert these numbers back into SI units in meters per second and so on, and joules, because in doing that, you have to multiply by factors of the charge on the electron, and the speed of light, and those factors are easy to mess up. And when you mess up, you get an answer which is wrong by a big amount because the numbers have large magnitudes in, in the SI unit system. 